So we all know and love Lego Star Wars Battle Packs, but I feel like it shouldn't just be limited to the Star Wars theme, so I'm going to try to make my own custom Lego Battle Packs. So for the first custom Battle Pack, I definitely want to make it space-themed and use some of these figures that I have, because I kind of just have them lying around or in a mech, so I think it would be cool to use a few of them in a custom Battle Pack. So for the small side builds, I think I'm going to include two aliens, and I kind of ran out of parts, so some of the parts might be di a different color than the other one. So let's just say that they're different genders, okay? So I'm going to include two of these custom aliens that I made using a bunch of light nougat parts and snot bricks and stuff like that. And then we're going to use these aim agents without the gas mask because I had to use them for other custom figures. So we're just gonna use those because I think they would fit really well in a space environment. And then when you stick it all together, it actually makes a pretty convincing looking battle pack. So the next battle pack is going to be based off the end. <clears throat> and the side build is probably going to be just an end pillar with a bunch of Endermen. So just an Enderman battle pack. So I just kind of shoved a bunch of parts together because I had this other set with a nether portal. So I took the nether portal apart and I just made a pillar with it. And then I went to my Lego Minecraft drawer, grabbed some Enderman, and then I kind of just uh, shoved them on there. And then it actually ends up looking pretty good. It seems like something Lego might make. And then I put a... Oh, still putting it on there. There we go, I did it. Oh, never mind. Now it's on there. And then I just put a player on there that I actually got from a different set that was also in the end. And then it looks pretty good. So for this next battle pack, I want to make it using these orc minifigures from the minifigure series and these night minifigures that I also have. And the side build was actually pretty easy. So I just uh, got a few brown pieces and I wanted to use as little pieces as possible because it seems like Lego would do something like that in a battle pack. Keep the part count down, keep the price down, make it more affordable, more people are going to buy it. So I made this small horse carriage that can seat too many figures, knights or orcs, whatever, with a black horse to move it, I guess. And then when you put it all together, it actually looks pretty good and seems like a battle pack that Lego would make. So I have all these Lethal Company figures. I have about eight of them, which is two full crews of figures. So I'm going to try to make a battle pack with them, including a side build that is something from the game. So I definitely wanted to include a turret. So I made this turret. But I can't just include that as a side build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of the hallways. Well, just part of a hallway. Just one side of it. And in the game, the hallways are just mainly made of white bricks. So I got a white plate 
and then I got my bin of white masonry bricks, and then I just shoved it all together. And now that the hallway is all done, I just have to display the turret and the figures in a way that seems like something that would happen in Lethal Company. Like, some person is going to try messing around and hitting it with a shovel, but most people are probably going to try to run away from the turret as it is very dangerous. And if you want to live and be smart, you would run away. And then we actually get a pretty good looking model that seems like something Lego would make if they made sets based off of Lethal Company. Although sadly, they are not, but this will do. So for the final custom battle pack, I want to make yet another Minecraft one, including two zombies, a baby zombie, a creeper, and Steve. And I think all of these figures would go well in a battle pack. So I made this custom cave entrance in the style that Lego does in their Minecraft sets with this pretty cool play feature with the creeper. It is functional. You could just put the creeper beside it and then pull the lever as if the creeper has exploded and is blowing up the wall. And then it also makes a pretty good display with all of the figures going to attack Steve. And Steve just standing there with his poor little iron pickaxe. He knows that he can't do anything against them. He is going to die. And with all that, it makes a pretty decent build and it actually looks like something Lego would make.